أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المسائل نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته May the peace and perfect peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the ever living God be upon each and every one of you First of all we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among the living ones after this time It's a greatest opportunity for me and you that you should make use of it before it is too late. You have to say Alhamdulillah that we are still alive after this time. Because we have this opportunity that we can ask for forgiveness and it will be accepted for us. We can make our tawbah and it will be accepted for us. We can give sadaqah and it will be accepted for us. We can perform salat, it can be accepted for us. We can do so many things, build walidain, showing kindness, serving our parents, and so on and so forth. It will be accepted from us. But if that time goes off, that is where the problem comes in. For example, today, subhanAllah, when you went to the cemetery today, I personally prayed for Janaza first, and then two from our side also. So six, that's what I performed today. Six, it is so sad to see all these people, everybody just going one by one, one by one, one by one, and say, subhanAllah. Next time, it could be my turn or your turn. And here comes the question, what have you prepared for it before that time comes? So inshallah ta'ala, today we are going to board the train that is taking us to Barzakh with different stations that we'll be going through inshallah ta'ala. And hence, we are going to start from Surah Al-Waqi'ah, inshallah ta'ala, from Ayah 83 onwards. So, it is up to you now. Well, shall I start reading, Chef? Yes, please. We're reading Surah Waqi'ah, which is Surah 56, mm -hmm. uh, verse 83 to 86. Yeah. And Bismillah, verse 83 is, says, then why do you not intervene when the soul of the nine person reaches the throat? That is it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking us a question. I know today so many people, we are, they will be calling their relatives, especially those that they knew about it and so forth. It is very, very sad. So perhaps we won't get so many people to come on board, but alhamdulillah, it still is good. They can rewind it and learn from it, inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, فَلَوْلَا إِذَا بَلَغَتِ الْحُلْقُونَ Why is it that when the soul reaches the throat, when the soul reaches the throat, that time, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has said, a person can have your repentance, asking for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even your sadaqat, perform your salat, do everything. But he said, Ma lam as long as the soul does not reach the throat, where you will be born. He said that time, the door of repentance is closed. If during that time the person wants to repent, it will not be accepted. If that time the person wants to seek forgiveness, it will not be accepted. So the door of repentance is, and seeking forgiveness is open now until when the soul reaches the throat, as the Prophet Allah said. He said, when it, the, the soul reaches the throat, khalas, no more. The door will be closed. Repentance door, forgiveness door, and so forth, all of that will be closed for that particular person 
whose soul has reached the throat. May Allah save us from that. Ya Arhamar Rahmin. And Allah has said, Wa antum hina isn't tazurun. Yes. Yeah, what does it say? And it says, and you at that at the moment are looking on. That is it. Wa antum hina isn't tazurun. When the soul reaches the throat, and that person is growing. <sighs> you see the people, everybody now. You are just looking at it. Oh, let's go and get some water for him or her. Oh, get. And when you put the water, it does not go inside. It's just coming out. You try so many. He's tried to drink a little bit. It cannot because the amount of water that he or she was supposed to drink in this world has finished. So he cannot take somebody's water anymore. That what you are going to give it to him or her, the time is for someone. Therefore, he or she cannot take it anymore. His or hers has finished. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Wa antum hina is in tazurun. And by that time, you will be looking at that particular person. Hands go that side, this one go this way, and so on and so forth. Yes. Then Allah has said, Yeah. But we, our angels who take the soul, mm -hmm. are nearer to him than you. That is it. Not see. That is it. By that time, that individual, is, he or she can see the angels sitting as far as his or her eyes can see. And they have the coffin. What they are coming to take the soul with. So as soon as the man can mouth, the angel of death takes the soul, he does not keep it even a second in his hand. Straight away he put it inside that coffin they have brought. It may depend upon our deeds and our faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If it is good, you will see them in a very bright and smiling and telling him, oh soul, good soul, come out from the body. Your Lord is so pleased with you, subhanAllah. And you see them shining bright and so forth during that time, subhanAllah. And if it is not, then the coffin that they will bring, you see the flames in, in it. And when that person, that soul sees all the things, it will start to scatter all over the body. It doesn't want to come. It does not want to come. But it will be scattered all over the body and so forth. And that is cancer. Oh, bad soul. Come out, and your Lord is angry with you. So brothers and sisters, we have to watch and look for that particular day. Those ones, those angels who will come, they are the ones coming to take the soul up. We have no choice. We cannot choose which angel to take our souls, no. To take it up, nobody can choose it. Our deeds, our iman, that is what chooses that particular angel to come and take it. So we have to be very, very careful of what we do. Yes. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, فَلَوْلَا إِن كُنْتُمْ غَيْرَ مَدِينِينَ Yes. Then why, why do you not, if you are exempt from the reckoning and the recompense of punishment? Mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, if you feel that when you die, that is it, finish. You are not going to be accountable for anything and so forth. Then, tarju'unaha in kuntum sadiqin. Yes, what are supposed to do? Bring back the soul to its mm -hmm. body if you are truthful. Yes, if you are truthful that there is no accountability when you die, that is it, that is the end of it. And some people they say, oh, 
Oh, there are so many problems in this world, so many wahala. I let me terminate my life to commit suicide and so on and so forth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, when those people who are surrounding that body during that time, if you feel that there is no accountability, why you do not bring back that soul into the body when it's been taken or when it reaches the throat and it's going? Why is that you don't bring it down? Okay, but there is assurance here. What does Allah say? Then, if he, the dying person, mm -hmm. be a muqrabun, mm -hmm. brought near to Allah. If that soul is among those people who are closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you in that time, may Allah make us among them, then farawhun wa rayhanun wa jannatun na'im. Yes. There is for him rest mm -hmm. and provision and a garden of delight. Paradise. That is it. Paradise. Then that person, you go, you come out in peace. The soul comes out in peace. And there will be provision for that soul. Assurances. Promise. Everything will be for that particular soul during that time. And at the end of the day, he is going to get Eternal abode of Jannah. May Allah make us among those people. Ya Arhamar Rahimin. Wa amma in kana min ashabil yameen. Yes. And if he, the dying person, be of those on the right hand. If that dying person is of those people who are chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be on the right side. And their books will be given to them on their right side. Uh, okay? These individuals, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, فَسَلَامٌ لَكْ مِنْ أَصْحَابِ الْيَمِينَ Then there is safety and peace on the punishment mm -hmm. of Allah. For you are as you, you are, you mm -hmm. as you, you are from, mm -hmm. those, of, those on the right hand. That is it. Then salam. Peace, tranquility, and everything will be for that particular person. SubhanAllah. During that time, everybody will have this thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angels who are coming to take the soul, they say, Salamu alaykum. Allah is pleased with you. Your Lord is pleased with you. And by that time, it will be taken. And when it has been taken, it goes up and it with a very beautiful fragrance. Smell beautiful like mist going all over. And each sky, the doors, they will say, oh, who is this with such a beautiful scent coming from him or her? So this is the servant of Allah. They mention your name, a beautiful name, the name of your father put it and then they go on the second until it reaches by the seventh sky and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said right the deeds and everything of my servant in the book of Eli Yin right it's there that is the place high place for that particular soul may Allah make us among those people yes go on but if he, the dying person, be of the denying of the resurrection, the uttering away from the right path of Islam, monotheism. Okay. But you say, وَأَمَّا إِنْ كَانَ مِنَ الْمُكَذِّبِينَ الضَّالِّينَ If he or she is among those people who belie the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, did not want to make use of it, they did not act upon it during that time and went astray from it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, Fanuzulun min hamim. Then for him is entertainment with boiling water. Entertainment 
of the boiling water would be for that person. May Allah save us from that. Ya Arhamar Rahmin. Amen. What is near to Jahim? And yes. burning in hellfire. Yes, burning in fire. May Allah save us from the punishment of the hell. Allah has said, Inna haza lahu haqqul yaqeen. Verily, this is an absolute truth and certainty. Just absolute truth and certainty. That it will come to pass. And anyone who wants, you choose your own path. You want to be with the Muqarrabin, those who are closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then be it. You want to be among those people who will be chosen to stand on the right side, giving their books also in their right hands for them, then choose that one. Or you want to be among those people who deny words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, oh, what is happening? What is this? Now we are in a modern world. That one is for ancient times and so on and so forth. Now we are in technology, scientific world and so on and so forth. All these things are just tales people are just talking about. Then you choose that one also for yourself. But Allah has said, therefore, at the end of the day, فَسَبِّحْ بِسْمِ رَبِّكَ الْعَظِيمِ so Glorify with praises the name of your Lord, the Most Great. Okay, so you have to say Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim 10 times now, all of us. Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim, 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 Subhana Rabbi Al-Azim. Good. This is what you normally say it also in your Roku. That's what you normally say it in your Roku. So here, the train has taken us to that particular station where the soul has been taken from the individual. The soul has been taken during that time. Okay. So when the soul has been taken that time, what is happening? The whole body now stands and becomes cool. It is frozen. You see the blood is clothed. It cannot move again. The body becomes very cold. It cannot move the hands unless if you lift it. Head, the eyes will be wide open, looking up. And the people will ask why, Prophet Sallallahu said, because when the soul is being taken out from the body, the eyes will be looking at it until the whole soul had been taken out. So when it is taken out, the eyes will remain like that, opened. That's why he said, when somebody dies, close the eyes. Then you close the eyes because there is no any movement again in the body. Because what makes human being to move and so forth, it is the soul. And when that soul has been taken out, then the body is just lying down there. There's no any movement. So that is another station that you have reached there. Okay, you have reached this station, which is so important. And what are we going to do? The train takes us to another station, the place where we are going to wash the body. The body will be washed and shrouded that time with a very, very cheapest uh, material. The cheapest of materials that's going to have. Won't wear the most expensive ones and so forth. That sometimes people said, oh, look at this one. He or she is not wearing uh, good ones and so forth. Mine is so so and so is, is most expensive. This, by that time, all these expensive things that you are talking about, it will be of no use to you again. 
you are going to have only the cheapest one. That's the white cardigan, small, and then they showed you with it. The cheapest one that everybody can buy. That is the one you are going to put in, subhanAllah. Okay? And here you are going to take you. When they finish, you're going to take you to another station. That station is the station of performing the janaza, salat al janaza, salat. So it is better for me and you to perform our salat properly before the salat will be performed upon us when we cannot do anything to it. We cannot do anything during that time. It is very, very sad when that time comes. Everybody, you you're just lying down there. All your expensive cars that you may be having, you name it. It could be 100,000 or some of them nowadays with Ferrari and going some of them about 1 million or 2 million pounds. Just for one car, just to take you from one place to another, because about two million or so pounds. Okay, all these things, it will be of no use. They cannot go. But they put you in a different car. That's uh, that taboo, they put you inside it. That coffin, they put you inside it. Very, very, very small. So all your kids and so forth that you're talking about, it is that. He said, this is the station you have reached now. Salat has been finished. Perform Salat Janaza, finished. They put you inside that train. And now, where are you going? The train then takes me and you to another station. It takes me and you to another station. And that station itself is somewhere we have to bear in mind. And that is the cover. The cover that you go inside is small. Sometimes when you have a, a room, oh, my room is not so big. You know, my room is not big at all. It's a, just uh, a little bit and so forth. Even when I put this one here, it, I cannot get a space to move. If I put that one there, I cannot. SubhanAllah. But now you're going to another home, another room that is very, very, very small. And even you cannot even fit all the all that room, that small one. They put you one side and turn your face towards the Qibla. Turn your face towards the Qibla. What are you going to have? Is there any blanket? Is there any kind of bed? King size? Queen size, whatever, and so on and so forth. Do we have that one inside there? No. So what kind of a bed are we going to put inside there? They put you in on the floor. On the floor? Yes. And what else? What is my pillow? You need a very nice pillow and so forth. So that when I'm sleeping, I can relax very nice and beautiful. He said, your pillow is just a piece of the earth that you take and put it under your head and my head. That is it. That is it. Look how sad it is. Our ending is going to be. So of everything that we have in our houses, we have this one there, we have that one there. So what, what are we going to do with them? 
Hmm? No, this when they said, oh, there is a sale, people just go and buy and you cannot put it. You have this one, you have this one. But here comes the time where well, you cannot put anything over there. No cushions, no chairs, no telly, nothing. All these social media things that you have, you don't have that thing over there. Finish. So the telly that, look, when uh, the Christmas, as you recall, it was coming, people, even though they have some, they have a telly and so forth, they will just go and exchange. Even if they have to pay it, they have to buy it on the credit. Because I'm have to get a new one. Even though the old one is working perfectly, is doing everything I supposed to be, but he said no. I'm going to have another one again. Subhanallah. That is how man is going to be during that time. So they put the person there. That station is where Allah said. Surah 80, verse 21. Surah 80, verse 21. Okay. Go to Surah Agasa. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? During that time. Yeah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? Yes. Which verse? Uh, sorry, Chef. Verse? 21. 21. Mm -hmm. uh, then he causes to causes to him to die mm -hmm. and puts him in his grave. That is it. Summa amatahu fa akbara. Yes. We have reached that station now. The station of Kabul. There you put a phone inside it. An individual will be sitting there. You are going there. You are Kabul, they put you there. And you look there. No electricity, no lightning, nothing. It's dark, complete dark. And you put so many things, so many earth on top. If they see any place a little bit, there's a hole. They say, oh, there's a hole here. Please, can you bring some dirt? Let's put it there. Yes, sir. And they bring it in the corners. So there is no air coming even to you. No oxygen coming there. And you are by yourself alone. We will stay there by ourselves alone. And when you are inside there, here comes the problem. Here comes the problem. As soon as they covered and so forth, now the two angels will now come. They come there. Munkar and Nakir. They are going to have an enclosed interview with you during that time. Nobody's there to help you. No one. Nobody's there to help me or to help you. This is enclosed interview. And it's precise. And that will determine also for our next journey, whether it will be successful or not. The interview comprises of three main questions. One, Manu who is your Lord? Who is your Lord? That's the first question. And the believer who said, Rabbi Allah, my Lord is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here you say it, it's very easy to say it, but that time it is not only a tongue. It is our Iman. It is the faith that is going to speak. It is the faith that is going to speak and the Iman is the one that is going to speak during that time. Then they ask you, 
after they finish that. My dear Enoch, what is your religion? What is your way of life? The true believer who said, Dini and Islam. My way of life is that of Al Islam. How did you know it? He said, because Allah told me it in the Holy Quran. Yes. And the Prophet Muhammad also told me. Then the third question Who is your prophet? Or in another way, they ask you, who was the one? What's the name of the one who was sent among you? A true believer who said, there is no one other than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. As soon as you say that, the voice, you hear the voice saying that, Sadaqa Abdi, my slave, my servant has spoken the truth. Therefore, afrushu lahu firash al jannah. Open and spread for him the spread of al jannah. When this Buddha have finished, then it comes the dhammatin art. Then the earth starts to squeeze the person. It comes and squeeze the person. But the truthful ones, it will come like the believers, it will be like a mother hugging its baby in a nice and beautiful way. But the one who is not a believer, it will just crack only. SubhanAllah. May Allah save us from that. So the believer, when that finishes, you'll be told to make the earth expand and the grave will expand. Professor Hassan has said, it will be expanded until as far as your sight can see. And then they put the bear, everything of her Jannah for you. And you have the scent, the fragrance of Al Jannah coming to you. And all of a sudden, an individual will see a very, very handsome person with such a beautiful smell of scent, beautiful one, like mist, filling all the cover and the light. He said, Wow. Oh, who are you? You look like someone who brings a bushra, good news, great tidings, with such a beautiful scent coming from you. Who are you? Then it is said, I am your good deeds. Wow. So what is that? So I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay with you here, inside here. Wow. Then when these things are going on and the person is inside, when the relatives, they finish and they are going, Professor Allah said, that person, that person inside there, inside the grave, will hear the footsteps of the people who came to bury him or her. Hear the footsteps going. Then he said, oh, where are you going? Why do you leave me here? Nobody will hear him or her. Or even if you could hear him or her, then what are you going to do? You cannot do anything. We cannot do anything. And the bad one, here comes, a very, very stinky and smelling and ugly person comes, smelling all over. The person will say, ah, oh, who are you? Because 
when he has the interview, you ask him, who is your, who is your Lord? He said, ha, ha, la, adri. Oh, 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 I do not know. I hear some people say something, but I don't. And then Professor Summer said, he was, she would be hit with a hammer and you scream. He said, the scream is so strong that if a human being were to hear it, you will collapse. He said, every creature they will hear, except mankind and the jinn, who will not hear that one. The birds, the animals, with all of them, they will hear it. And then they ask, what is your religion? My Jinnuk, what is your religion? And when they ask during that time also, what is going to happen? The person will say, oh, I do not know. I do not know. I just hear some people say something and I also say it. And then he will hit again with another hammer and you'll be screaming. Then the third question, who was the man who was sent among you? And say, I do not know, and it will be hit again. So during that time, you hear the voice, he said, put, open the gate of the hell fire, the heat to that. And when he's inside, the earth will be squeezing him a lot. He's crying. And then that ugly person with a bad stinking and smelling will come and ask, who are you? Don't come closer to me, don't come. You are always stinking, you are smelling so bad. He said, hey. I have to be with you here. He said, no, 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 you can't be. He said, of course. So you don't know me? He said, no, I don't know you. He said, I am your bad deeds. The bad deeds that you did, here I am. And I'm not going to separate myself from you. I'm going to be with you. And that is the moment which is so serious moment. And the people who turn so. When the person, people are going, you'll be crying. Oh, where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Please. Yes, that is it. As a professor, some had said, three things will follow me and you to our grave. Our wealth, our families, and then our deeds. The wealth, the properties, and so forth that we have, everything will be left behind. Different cars that you have, even the people will be driving that phone, will be driving it, to, to maybe to the cemetery and so forth, but you cannot take it with you, they will take it back. All the properties, you leave them behind. The only thing that will be going with me and you is that of our days. That is what's going to be with you. And since the journey is so long, you have to prepare with our side. You have to prepare with regarding to the provisions you have to take with us. But can we take cassava leaves with us, apples, and so on and so forth? No, you can't, because that one is for this body here. Like, likewise, when you were inside our mother's womb, you were not eating this kind of things. We are eating, you have a different provisions that we are eating. And when you came to this world, we have another thing, provisions to eat. And the next world that you are going to, you cannot take this one with us because that's not the place to eat that one. You don't have anything for that. But what, what would be the provisions you have to take? The food and the water that you have to take with us. For such a long journey, it will be our deeds and our faith. Our deeds will be our food for us. And our water will be our evil that will take us. Yes, 
because that place, this is the water and the food we are going to consume that time. And you will be there. Nobody will be able to come and say anything. One of you said, oh, please take me back. I want to go back. I want to go back to the world. So what are you going to do there? You want to go back there? What are you going to do? Do you have anything to do over that side? He said, yes, please. Because I really, really need to go to that side and do something. So what are you going to do over there? You have been in this world for some time. Isn't that true? He said, yes. He said, OK. So you go to Surah 23. Surah 23. And hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said from Ayah 100. Hear what Allah has said in Ayah 100. Good. So, during this time, read, oh, read it, yeah? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, so that I may do good with which I have, I have left behind. Okay, so start from 99. 99, okay. Unt until when death comes to mm -hmm. one of them, yes, nine partners with Allah, mm -hmm. he says, my Lord, send me back. Mm -hmm. He said, my Lord, send me back. Rabbi Rijarun, my Lord, please send me back so that I can go back to this world again, please, because I'm suffering here. The heat of the hellfire and the hot water and boiling water and everything and so forth that they're giving to me. Please send me back to the, to the world. He said, what are you going to do? Yes, what does he say? So that I may do good in that which I have left behind. No. He said, he said, so that I will go back and do the good things that I did not do. They were telling me to do good things and so forth. But I take I took it for granted. So please give me another chance so that I can go back and do that good things which I did not do. But what will be the answer? No. It is but a word that he speaks and Behind them is Barzakh, the barrier until the day when they will be resurrected. That is it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you, even this one, he's just saying it. If you have brought him back into the world again, he will not even do what he said he was coming to do. He will not. He just said it. He just said it. But the fact remain here is the train, this is a station, the train has stretched. It has reached you here and has gone back. It will not go back again. You cannot go back again. You finish. You are stationed here until the day you will be resurrected. Yes, continue. Then when the trumpet is blown, mm -hmm. there will be no kinship amongst them that day, nor mm -hmm. will they ask of one another. Yes. So you may be staying inside there until when the trumpet will be blown for everybody to come out. And even when you come out, nobody is going to say that, oh, you are my relative, or you are my child, or you are my dear, so please help me. Nobody is going to help in that case at all. Nobody. And nobody is going to ask anyone. Everybody is running away. Everyone is running away. Why? Because it is only nafsi, nafsi, myself, 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 myself. That is all what you need. Nobody cares for anyone during that time. Nobody cares. This one feels that, oh, I can have this one when I'm over that side. Maybe I will do this, I will do that. No, you cannot do anything. That's why in the same surah, Ayah 112 to 116, hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said. The same surah. Yeah, verily, I have rewarded them this judgment this day for their patience. They are indeed the ones that are successful. So, no, Surah Al Muminun, verse uh, 112. 112, okay. To 116. Okay. 
Um, he, Allah says, Allah will say, what mm -hmm. number of years did you stay on earth? That is it. Allah is asking. You said you want to go back. What do you want to go back to do? He said, I want to go back and do good deeds and so on and so forth. He said, okay, how long did you stay on the earth? They will what say. Was, what was your age? Some of you, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, 40 years. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, you name it, that you stay over here. But when that person is being questioned, what is he going to say? How long did he stay on this earth? Yes. They will say, we stayed a day or part of a day. Look, look at it. <laughs> he is 50 years old when he or she died. 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years, 100 years and over. But when he's been questioned, how long did you stay? You turned on the earth. He said, yes, again, the we, same part. Yeah, um, we stayed a day or part of a day. Yeah, we stayed just a day. Oh, no, 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 it's not even a day. Just a part of a day. So what did Allah say? Ask of those who keep account. He said, then if you do not know, ask those who keep account. Who knew your age when you died? Ask them, how long did you stay on the earth? What was your age when you died? He, Allah will say, you stayed mm -hmm. not, but mm -hmm. a little. Yeah. If you had only known. Mm -hmm. He said, okay. If you say just a little over that side, as you say, okay, good. That's all fine and good. So you think that the earth, the place that you stay there is just to enjoy yourself and so on and so forth? Go to the next aisle. Did you think we had created you in play mm -hmm. without any purpose yes. and that you would not be brought back to us? That is it. That's what I want to say. Alpha has to Do you think that we just created you just to play for guests and nothing? That no purpose? No purpose that you did create you? You are just going there to play and so forth? That is it. Hey, Allah said, that you think that you will not ever come back to us again? No. Then hear what Allah has said. So exalted be Allah, the true king. La ilaha, la ilaha illa huwa. Mm -hmm. None has the right to be worshipped but he, mm -hmm. the Lord of the Supreme Throne. Allah Akbar. But Allah Mankul Haq. La ilaha illa huwa. Rabbul Arsh al Kareem. Just. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will on that day put me and you into account during that time. Okay? So. We must prepare ourselves now before that day will come. We do good deeds in this world and that will help me and you because we do not want to go that side and that is the time our eyes and our mind and everything will be opened. Now you go to Surah 63, Surah Munafikun, Ayah 10 and hear what when the people are in that kind of condition, they're in that kind of state, what will they say? Okay, Surah 63, just read Ayah 10 for me. Ayah 10, yeah? Mm -hmm. And spend in charity of that which we have provided you before mm -hmm. death come, comes to you, mm -hmm. of, of you, and he, sa he says, my Lord, if only you would give me a respite for a little while, mm -hmm. I return to the worldly life. Then mm -hmm. I should give sadaqah, zakat, mm -hmm. of my wealth and be among the righteous. I perform hajj pilgrimage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, that's what he's going to say. Oh, Allah, please just give me respite a little bit so that I go back. What are you going to do? I say for so that I will give charity. Why is that? He doesn't say that so that I will go and perform salat. I will go and fast, I will go and, and do the Hajj and so forth. Why? Why? But he's choosing only the Sadaqah because he has known the importance of Sadaqah. 
those who did Sadaka, how their graves had been lit up. Those who gave Sadaka, how their graves had been expanded and the light and everything and so forth. And so here, yeah. all right. So the, the people will ask. You're okay for time, Chef. It's okay. You okay? Yeah. You're okay, yeah. All right. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help that particular person who will work very hard, give sad sadaqah in this world. But those who will not, when the time comes, they wish that they have given. That's why Allah has said, give it now before the time will come. When the mouth, when the mouth comes, that's the time you're going to say that, oh Allah, please just give me a respite, give me a delay, give me a little time so that I can go back and turn and do my charity. I will be a very charitable person during that time. And I said, no. That's why I said, oh, you will be there. Do your charity now. Do it now. Because when you go by that side, you wish you could have done that charity, the importance of it, because the charity takes the punishment of the grave for you. The charity enlightens your grave for you. It also extinguishes the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for you. So when the individual is having all these kind of things during that time, seeing others, what they are having, they said, oh, please, let me go back and I'll give a lot of charity. Please, Allah. Oh. And I said, no. There is no return. Yes. There is no any kind of return back to this world again. You have given enough time for you to do that. But you did not. You did not. Why? Because you didn't do what I told you to do. When you go to Surah Al-Nazi'at, chapter 79, verse 40 to 41. Chapter 79, verse 40 to 41. Here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, if you have done this thing, while you are in the world, you have saved yourself. So, Yep. We who are still alive after this time is the greatest opportunity for me and you to make use of it. Hear what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying. Yes. But as for him who feared standing before his Lord mm -hmm. and restrained himself for impure evil desires and lusts. That is it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, وَأَمَّا مَنْ خَافَ مَقَامَ رَبِّهِ وَنَحَ النَّفْسَ عَنِ الْحَوَى Okay. Verily, he, he or she feared the presence of his Lord. When he's going to do something bad, he said, oh, Allah is looking at me. He will stop. Mm. Yes. Another question is, if somebody is dying or terminally ill, mm. what is it that you should do for them? Is it you make dua for them. Once they are still alive, you make dua for them. And then you give them the talqeen of uh, kalmat la ilaha illallah all the time. They should recite these things all the time, inshallah, and let them have their connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all the time. And if it is a uh, medical decision, then they have to check their doctors, inshallah ta'ala. Anything else? There's a few, I mean, it's, it's, it's along the same lines. Um, Go on. The, uh, um, there's a question. The question, Bazak starts for those people who dies in accident yeah. or in this country, dead body in fridge for a long time. What's that? What? So I think if somebody isn't buried and they're kind of frozen for a long time and not buried in the ground, yeah. what's, what, what's, the, what's the situation for them? You know? what, what is the situation for them? Oh, okay. In other words, they haven't been buried yet. Yeah, so or if they're burnt or you know, if they haven't been buried, or if they haven't been if they haven't been buried or if they've been burnt, for example, so the body is not buried in the ground, what is their what is their situation? 
Oh, if, okay. If the person has been burned, for example, or they have been uh, cremated, for example, that's why the person is saying? Yeah. Okay. That one also, you have your barzakh. Because you have your grave, but that one is called ajdas. Ajdas. Ajdas is where they have split or maybe uh, some people, they, they take, for example, some cultures, they will burn the whole body. They themselves, they will burn the whole body. I remember when you were in the West Indies, when somebody dies, the Hindu people, they will put a lot of firewoods. And then they will put the body in the middle, they will put the body on top, like this, and then they'll put more firewoods on top here. And they will put something they called geese, and they put it on top of it at that. And then after that, they will use match. match. And uh, that's the first time I saw that one in my life. And subhanAllah, you see the fire burning like that. And you see the body came up like this. The heat, the impact of the heat, the body came up and then went back again. And it's there until the body was burnt into ashes. And they took some of the ashes and put it in a, a bottle or something like that. And then they seal it. They seal the bottle. And then the rest of the ashes, they take them, go and throw them in the in the water and so forth. Okay, this one, they are in Ajdas. That they have spread all over and so forth. But their soul is there. So it's the soul that is going to have the, the uh, either the punishment or whatever it is and so forth. This is the soul. The soul is there. So if accidentally somebody is burnt in uh, maybe some people in the car accident or in the house or whatever and so forth, for example, or it's been eaten by an animal, swallowed by uh, maybe a snake, okay? And all these kind of things, they are in Ajdas. That's the place where they will be there. Uh, that's in but the soul is out there and the soul will be questioned and so everything and so forth. And Yom al when this thing has finished, the same day, Allah will command, Allah will command the same body that has been split all over and so forth and bring it back to life. Bring everything to life to taste the punishment or whatever thing they have to go through if it's a good thing and so forth, the soul will be enjoying that one. And if it's something bad, then the soul will experience that kind of punishment until the day of resurrection. Now, no, oh yeah. Next question. Yeah. So I've got two. I've got two more questions. One, Jibri. Um, and me ask you a question. I've, I've unmuted you, so inshallah, I'll ask you a question. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa barakatuh. Jazakallahu khairan, Sheikh. May Allah reward you for, for your brilliant lectures, inshallah. Barakallahu alaikum wa barakatuh. Sheikh, um, if your loved one is sick, what are the recommended um, surahs and ayah one should recite for him or her? Okay. If your loved one is sick, the first remedy you have to do is to hug her. No. This is the first remedy. When your loved one is good, don't do like uh, Abdul Wali. You will just <laughs> go and sit and sit in the, you know, you see, in the computer, this is a place, this is a computer room, he doesn't care. Don't, don't, don't do like him. Yeah. Hug her and comfort her and so forth, okay? And uh, make her understand and recite Surah to Sharah. You know, Surah Sharah. Alam Nashrah Laka Sadrak. Okay, recite that one. 
if the person doesn't know the meaning of it, I've come something like that. When you finish recite, uh, read the meaning for the persons to understand the meaning also, what it means during that time. And inshallah, with the dua, any kind of a dua that you can make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give her cure, inshallah, and especially in the night, you get up. Since she, yeah, it's not well, you have enough time to do your ibadah so that you make a lot of dua also for him, uh, what's going on for her, inshallah. Ta I got one last question, Sheikh. Yeah. I think somebody here might not believe that there's something better in Jannah than cassava leaves. Hey! hey. You, uh, I think it's Abdul Wali. Can you, uh, can you recommend, uh, can you convince him, please? <laughs> in Jannah, anything that you want, you will get. If you want the cassava stick or cassava root, huh? you can even get that one. Not, not only the leaves, you can even get the stick. And and the root, the main root itself, you will get in there. <laughs> yes, I can work out. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I saw that you just mentioned. Um, can you can you tell them the, the chapter, please? It's Alam Nashra. Alam Nashra Halaka Sodrak. Everybody knows yeah. Alam Nashra. No, it's not. It's not. Who does? Who doesn't know? Uh, wait. Uh, who doesn't know? To find it. Huh? Alam Nashra. What? What did you say? Nashra. Uh, what's happened to it? Chapter. Wait, wait, I'll get it for you. Oh, you do not, you do not know? Alam Rashid Alam Alam Rashid 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 Alam Okay. All right. Any other thing else? Uh, Shaf, we haven't finished yet. We have to continue. Um, so I pray that Allah Allah will bring inshallah. us into uh, episode three. Episode three, yeah. where where the train will take us to our final destination. Inshallah, Taala. Sure. But you have to be uh, very vigilant and do something good, inshallah ta'ala. You see, this sickness that is going on, it has no respect for anyone. It can be big, it can be small, it can be anyone. It can come to anybody. But everything is by the will of Allah. That what we can do, we can do something good for our own selves. What is it? You can do something. Try to steam yourself. Steam yourself. Get onion, maybe one onion, one. Okay? Cut it into pieces. Have a, a kettle of boiling water and get a bucket and put these onions inside and put this hot water inside the bucket with it. Either we get a big towel to cover your head or bed sheet or any kind of sheet to cover yourself, for example. And when you are there, you are breathing in and out, in and out, from your nose, from your mouth, and so on and so forth. At, at most, 10 minutes, okay? You can do that. Hmm? And you can also drink sumac, S-U-M-A-C, S-U-M-A-C, sumac. You can get it in uh, Asda or any basis and something like that. You go and you ask them, you have the bottle there inside it. If you get that one, whether you have been affected with this sickness or you are not being affected with it, just take one teaspoon to a glass of water. The water, it is up to you. It can be warm water, it can be cold, but not very cold that you take it from the fridge, okay? And drink it. Morning, one glass in the morning and another glass in the evening. We just do this things and inshallah, you have the hot water also in maybe a cup like this in the morning 
put slide of lime or lemon into it and let it brew for a little while and try to drink it. In the evening, before you go to sleep, you do the same thing, inshallah ta'ala. And Allah willing, you will be protected from it. And even if you have been affected, Allah willing, it will be going from you, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, I think we are coming to the end of the program. I hope you enjoy the program. Okay. And you prepare ourselves also for it. It makes us to prepare ourselves for that day before our time comes. So may Allah save us when that time comes, inshallah ta'ala. Amen.